think this thing's working. Double check here. So we're going to get going on this. Welcome, everybody. I am uh, still learning this software and trying to figure it out. But I'm Dr. Tim Smith, True Source Family Chiropractic. It's a nice Muslim health center in Beaver, Georgia. So <clears throat> we have a lot going on with the one little thing in the news, actually. It's maybe you all heard about it. It's called the coronavirus, I believe it's called the COVID-19, 18, 17, 16. It's a big deal. It's going on right now, and unfortunately, um, it's captivating our world. We've done all kinds of things in our past history, and this by far is going to be one thing that's going to be shaping all of us uh, from here on out. You're going to read about this in history books. Uh, it's going to be something that we'll never forget about. And I do want to help give you guys some more things to help support you through this process. Because uh, there's a lot of uncertainty out there, there's lots of fear out there, but there's also a lot that we can do about it. So I do want to give you those things. To see if I can get this. Uh, that's a little better there. Okay. So I'm going to screen share my screen here. I have a presentation for you, and let's see if this, this is going on Facebook the way it's supposed to. I believe it is. If you do see this, I can't see Facebook, so just go, go ahead and give it like a thumbs up or like it. Hopefully, maybe a comment or two will show up here on this platform. Facebook's doing any weird things. Um, but yeah, so I do want to share this screen with you. There we go. Okay, so this is my presentation put together for you. We're going to go through lots of slides. Now, the biggest thing about this is this is all information. <clears throat> Information is great. It's the action that you apply to the information, which really makes a difference. And when it comes to the information about what's going on with COVID-19 or the coronavirus, there's no shortage of it. It is everywhere. There's like 30,000 conspiracy theories. Now, I do not want to get into conspiracy theories. I do not want to put philosophical beliefs to this. I just want to give you some facts and what you can do uh, so you don't have to worry about a lot of other stuff out there. Now, I've heard things from all over as far as the uh, theories go. The bottom line about all of it is something's going on. And we got to get some protection for this. So um, there's some very easy things we can implement and do to help with that, too. So let's see if we can get this here. All right. So we do have a mission as far as helping guys out. And that's we want to empower longer, healthier lives through chiropractic care and the integration of the five essentials. We'll get into the five essentials here in a bit, uh, but this is all about the coronavirus COVID-19. So as of today, April 3rd, 205 PM, around the world, uh, 53,000 people, almost 54,000 people by now died from this one disease. In the USA alone, 6,058. Uh, 6, this is going to go up tomorrow. It's going up every day of the week by about 1% or more. So think 6,100, 6,300 by tomorrow. Um, now, to give you guys some comparison, the average flu, like when we get every year, even with vaccinations, uh, kills between 291 and 646,000 people uh, yearly. In the USA alone, it kills between 12,000 and 61,000. Now, 12,000 to 61,000, 
that's a big estimation. There's a lot of variance in there. So um, this is not nearly as deadly so far. Um, a lot of the experts do say that it is going to be deadlier, but it's all speculation right now. No one really knows. Um, as far as the stats go, this is the regular flu that we hear about all the time that kids get stupid shots for right, and adults do. Uh, this is not as deadly as the regular flu is, but to those people who are at risk, it is deadlier, supposedly. So um, the, even though there's things shutting down, there's no toilet paper, you cannot find antibacterial cleaner anywhere. Um, we're in the state of Georgia as of 6 p.m. tonight in a few hours. We'll be uh, mandated to lock in our homes unless you have some official business to come to, which, by the way, going to your chiropractor is essential. So you can't uh, miss out on your adjustments, and you'll see why you have two slides. But um, there's a mandate you have to stay inside your house. This has been in Gwinnett County for a little while, the county we're in, but now the whole state of Georgia is doing this. Many other states have done this. And so you got to hunker down and lock in. And there's also research saying that that might not be the best idea too. So, but moving on, um, if uh, you have some symptoms that may be common with coronavirus, the CDC, uh, the hotbed for all this coronavirus information, says the most common ones are going to be fever, shortness of breath, and cough. Fever, SOB, and cough. Um, now, with preventing and resistance. We got to go through our natural immune response. This is a long explanation about how our body reacts to pathogens or bacteria uh, or damaged cells. Uh, basically, the immune system is a collection of structures and processes in the body that work to protect against disease or other potentially damaging foreign bodies. Uh, it can distinguish between normal, healthy cells and abnormal or unhealthy cells just by recognizing different things, markers on it. And the cells become unhealthy because of infection or because of cell damage uh, caused by non-infectious agents like sunburn or cancer. Uh, cell damage, basically. Now, infectious microbes, such as viruses, here we go. Viruses and bacteria uh, release another set of signals recognized in use which are called uh, PM or PAMPs, P-A-M-P-S. Uh, when, pro when functioning properly, the immune system identifies a variety of threats between viruses, bacteria, parasites, and distinguishes them from the body. So it recognizes normal from abnormal, it recognizes something that's supposed to be inside you versus something that's not supposed to be inside you. And since we have such an amazing, amazing God-given immune system, guess what that system does, folks? It's gonna see, okay, you belong, you don't belong, and for the ones that don't belong, it's gonna do whatever they can to kick them out or squish them like a bug. So, like a mean bouncer would. Now, let's see if we can move on here, okay. A big part of the immune system is within the gut itself. 70% research shows that of the gut is housed, uh, or the, of the immune system is within the guts. So automatically, you got to know I'm going to talk about nutrition and how we have to have a healthy gut if we want to have a healthy immune system. Um, now, when it comes to, let's see if I can open this up a little bigger here. When it comes to some of those symptoms. A fever, maybe. Oh, my way. Okay, that's not going to show very well. Uh, but some of the symptoms, as far as the CDC says, one of them is going to be a fever. Now, for those who don't know, who've been living under rocks for a long time, or just give you what the new, you believe everything the news tells you, fever is actually a good thing. It's a very common sign of illness, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, when you have a fever, that's your body recognizing some good guys from the bad guys. And when we heat up, the bad guys die off. Very intelligent. You don't have to think about this. The body's going to do it automatically. So a fever is actually a good thing. Rarely is it ever a bad thing. Um, and that's if it's like 105 degrees. Usually the body won't do that to itself. That's usually to a chemical uh, uh, influence at some point, and if that's the case, yeah, go to the hospital because there's a toxic thing going on in your body. But when it comes to bacteria and viruses, these things do die off at high levels of heat. So, why do we get a fever to produce the high level of heat? It's amazing. Um, so, coughing also is good for you, believe it or not. 
Um, if you have some some bad stuff down your lungs, those little bronchioles, uh, bronchioles, coughing and sneezing is going to clear the airways and uh, basically kicks bad stuff that would be inside your lungs out. Which is a way of getting rid of it. Um, and coughing is good. And the mucus actually entraps some of the unhealthy bacteria and has you cough it up and get it out of you. Or it has you uh, swallow it. When I was a kid, I had lots of coughing, lots of mucus in my lungs, lots of pneumonia, um, lots of respiratory illness, bronchitis. And I could not stop coughing like for the life of me. And I always thought coughing was bad, let alone now. Well, down the road, I found out coughing is actually a good thing. And your body's not going to do something uh, because it's stupid. You need these things. So do not really suppress the cough if it's going to help you. Um, uh, also, coughing agitates the mucus, preventing bacteria from developing the defensive biofilm and creating a huge colony of pus-filled goo. That sounds awesome. Thanks to Roy Bauer from Emory. Um, now, the fever, we've talked about a little bit about this. The rise in temperature makes your body a less favorable environment for invading germs. Uh, the amazing body uh, raises temperature and kills off heat sensitive bacteria and viruses. So, a fever is killing off the bad stuff. Uh, immune stressors. Now, there's a lot of things that can cause stress to the immune system. The main three things are called, uh, there's three T's. Traumas, toxins, and thoughts. Three T's. Uh, when we get into, there's a lot more to it, though. And of those three T's, I always tell people the worst of them is going to be thoughts. Our thoughts become things, so stress. If we are stressed out about what we read, what we heard, about all these things out of our control, we will be have a low immune system. And right now, the... Now, more than I've ever witnessed my entire life, there is so much information out there, and it's all geared to make us fearful, to put us in a stressful state. If our body, if our brain, if, our, if we're in a stressful, fearful state, guess what happens to your immune system? It drops. But weakened immunity means heightened sickness, heightened illness. So by putting us in this fear state, we're being driven to a more of a, a heightened state of illness, a lower state of immunity. Uh, other immune stressors would be things like uh, the toxins. So whether that's toxic things like smoking cigarettes, you know, drinking booze, or taking lots of medication, or even uh, putting some chemicals on your skin like perfumes or whatnot, or colorants, uh, all kinds of things within your food itself. Even the like personal care products, the air we breathe outside, even the darn drinking water from the tap, chlorine, uh, fluoride. All these things are toxins, which cause lowered uh, immunity, higher sickness. Now, here's uh, some good things about the stress. Or there's a whole lot of information right here about this. Basically, how stress kills your immune system. And if you don't believe me, don't sleep. I used to personal story back in grad school. There's lots of tests, lots of finals, and Finals week, you don't really sleep. You just stay up, you take your test, you go back to studying, you cram for the test, you take the test, you pass the test, cram for the next one, one after another. After the finals air, uh, ended on Thursdays, the finals week, every time. Thursday night, Friday morning, I was sick. Every finals week. Four times a year, we had quarters we worked in. So four times a year, I was sick, all because I didn't sleep probably all that week. So if you want to guarantee you get sick, just don't sleep at all going to happen. Um, minimizing toxins. We'll talk a lot more about that in a while. Now, as far as the toxins go, we do want to talk about hand washing. The CDC recommends one of the best ways to prevent illness is by washing hands. Now, that may be common sense for most people. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's um, not still. So their things they recommend is washing for 20 seconds uh, under warm water using soap. Now, the soap cannot be antibacterial soap. Reason being is we have bacteria on our hands, which is very helpful for us. We'll talk about this a little bit. We need germs. We have to have them. Uh, but if you use this antibacterial stuff or just straight alcohol all the time, it's going to damage the film and the layer of uh, bacteria on us, which can help keep us alive and keep us healthy. Uh, plus, a lot of those antibacterial soaps have been found to be 
uh, very cancerous. And even the FDA has outlawed some of those soaps because of how bad they are for us. So you just want to use regular plain old soap and water. Um, I actually happen to make soap. We sell it here in the office sometimes. Um, it's very mild, very gentle, no uh, toxic junk in there. So you're not going to have uh, all kinds of perfumes or colorants or uh, oils or whatnot that are bad for you. It's all organic. But what the hand washing does is basically what, when you scrub and all that too, basically what that does, it's going to uh, encapsulate the fat with the grease and stuff inside the soap. It's going to encapsulate the virus because it has a little uh, house around the virus. And it's basically going to wash it away down the drain. So that's like the most effective way, they say. Um, and that's why I don't want you touching people. Now, to promote your healthy immune system, we talk about five essentials. This is Max Living's thing. We, this is what we're really pushing the office to, five essentials. It's not three essentials. It's not two. It's all five. And we do go in order, but we do start with chiropractic. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. I never wanted to be a medical doctor. I don't want to be one, really. That I want to work with health people, not just sick people all the time. Um, now, if medical, medical doctors save my life. I will say that. If the medical system did save my life. I will say that as well. Um, but I was sick. And, folks, that's what medicine's for if you're sick. If you're healthy, you don't really need medicine. So if we are sick all the time, guess what this is puts us in? State of fear, but we all stay sick. However, um, I get way off track of this stuff. So, with uh, how our bodies work and, and with the immune system, by taking care of your nervous system, you're going to be taking care of your immune system. These these two basically get together like two big super systems combining the nervous system and the immune system. Both of those uh, are like one big system, and they work off of each other. So, if you have a low immune system, your nervous system is not going to be very well. well have called what we call subluxations. If you have a, a great nervous system, then by nature, you're going to also have a great immune system. So you can't have one without the other. Uh, they do have to coexist with each other. And the cool thing is the immune system is under the direct control of the nervous system. So we have a bad pathways. If the brain cannot talk to the body and keep it healthy and keep it alive and keep the immunity there, uh, we can never be healthy and alive and have great immune systems. And we're going to get subject to things like the non coronavirus or the flu virus or the norovirus. You whatever virus you want to name, we're gonna be more susceptible with a with a bad nervous system. So that's why we talk about chiropractic. Chiropractic helps eliminate stress on the nervous system. Eliminate stress on the nervous system, the body just works the way it's supposed to. We thrive. We're individuals. We have the life experience we're supposed to. Uh, the other one's gonna be nutrition. Now this should not be surprised. We are what we eat. If we're gonna eat a bunch of junk, we're gonna feel like junk. Um, and one of them, one of the biggest culprits is the white powdery sugar. Sugar uh, is like a death sentence to your immune system. If you want to get sick, eat lots of sugar, have a bad immune system, a nervous system, and get no sleep. We'll go through these in order here. So uh, basically, sugar, I'm not going to go over all the pathways of how it happens, but it makes you very sick. And it's also addictive. That's why it's in all the food, because food companies want to keep you buying their stuff. So, yeah, they put lots of sugar in there. So one way to stay super healthy, cut the sugar. Stop it out. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Um, it has no purpose except the summer food. And it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's it's also very addictive, so our brains will go to it once we test it or taste it. Um and people with bad diets with lots of sugar also have bad immune systems, so they get sick a lot more often. If you want to fight that, you've got to cut, it, cut out the sugars. Uh, one way of doing that is incorporating the Max Living Advanced Plan. We used to call it the healing diet way, way long time ago. Now they call it the Advanced Plan. Basically what it is, it's very low sugars, uh, low carbohydrates, high on good things like fat, which are good for the immune system, and moderate amount of protein, which is also good for the immune system. Uh, but sugar is not on there. So if you want to heal, if you want to stay <laughs> thriving, the advanced plans, it's, it's the way to go. And we have more information about that we can give you. Um, uh, garlic, something you put in, in your in the diet plan, which will really boost the immune system. So garlic is not, not only delicious, it helps flavor things and all that, but it has an, uh, immune boosting properties proven throughout history. And so many cultures really use this stuff a lot. But 
the cool thing is when garlic's like broken, usually raw garlic has to be raw. When you break it down, when you chew it, it relates to this thing called allicin. Allicin is a main active component. And uh, research shows that supplementing with garlic alone reduces the risk of illness by up to 63%, uh, and, and as well as cutting down the duration of an illness by over two thirds, 70%. So garlic will not only help you not get sick, but if you do get sick, it'll help keep you sicker, uh, help get you healthier faster. So the recovery time is much shorter. Shorter. Citrus fruits. Um, a lot of people say it's from vitamin C. Kind of, not sort of. The main thing about vitamin C is the antioxidants. The antioxidants kill off free radicals. They scavenge those bad boys up. Free radicals make us sick. Free radicals are, <laughs> no surprise, associated with sugar. So a lot more free radicals in your body, a lot more sick, sicker we're going to be. Uh, and help. what antioxidants do is they go scavenge those bad boys up so they don't, they don't make us sick. Uh, things that can cause free radicals are going to be uh, like Wi-Fi. It's EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. Um, bad diet can cause lots of free radicals. Uh, lack of sleep, lots of free radicals. Um, and having a stressed out lifestyle, lots of free radicals. You know, it's not a surprise that um, the people who are the most stressed out also are the ones that get sick the most. And also have like lots of chronic diseases like diabetes, obesity, uh, heart disease, cancer. All those are associated with high stress levels. Uh, mainly because, well, also because they also have lots of uh, free radicals in their life, and those can be decreased by supplementing with antioxidants or putting those in your diet. Uh, and most of these diets, well, most of these things, of course, uh, nutrition-wise, having lots of good food, real food made by God, not made by a man somewhere, but made by God, uh, is like a perfect little system that somehow we can just ingest and it makes us better. I don't know. It's amazing. Like, man, I cannot think this stuff up. Uh, now, we also know that most foods now are stripped clean of most nutrition, especially if you got if you buy anything from the store. Unless you're like farming it yourself and you live in the woods somewhere in Montana, our food is not going to be what it used to be, you know, 200 years ago. So that's why uh, Max Living we've created the Immune Boost Bundle. Uh, and all these different, there's five different components to this, but all these are made to help give you like an like a ironclad immune system. We'll go through some of these here. So vitamin D, basically every sickness, every single sickness on the planet has, is associated with low vitamin D levels. Um, but we had that vitamin D. We used to get it, we still get it from the sun, but most of us are like where I am right now, I'm working inside. I'm inside the clinic all day. So when we get sunlight, it gets right on the skin, and it produces vitamin D. That's not happening now. So much, many of us are vitamin D deficient. Also, surprise, not surprisingly, uh, when it's when we're not outside very much, we're in close quarters, indoors with people, away from the vitamin D, away from the sunlight, we get weak immune systems, and we get sick. You ever hear of uh, flu season? That doesn't happen in the summertime. When we're outside playing and getting sunlight and getting uh, outside and doing things that happens when we're confined in close quarters. Most of us are vitamin D deficient. Um, I don't know many people who are have high vitamin D, especially uh, if you're north of like Georgia. If you're north of Georgia, uh, really, I think the, the line goes right through Atlanta, I can say. If you're north of Atlanta, uh, you have low vitamin D just by nature, just because we don't get much sunlight here compared to the tropical climates and whatnot closer to the equator. So we got to supplement with that. There's some very good resources for that here. Uh, I think RD3 is one of the best out there. I'll put this one up against any other one, uh, mainly because it also comes, comes with probiotics. And research shows when you put probiotics and D3 together, uh, it makes the D3 more powerful. Basically, it's all more than D3, so it makes it more potent. Um, now, the thing is, two of these pills comes to, uh, or one, one of them is 5,000 IUs. Two of them is 10,000. If you get a blood test and you have low vitamin D3, just to get, say, it has to be, I don't know, the blood levels have to be 50 vitamin D3. If it's at 30, and you say, well, I'll just take 5,000 a day, all that's going to do is maintain your levels. To boost it up, you have to have like a super dose of it. So 
10,000, 15,000, 20,000 even vitamin D a day. And just for a short time, then bring it back down to more of that maintenance phase. Once you get the blood levels up and saturated with that, um, just to, so you can have a healthy vitamin D3 level or D levels in the bloodstream itself. I'm going to get some water here. I'm talking way too fast. Um, this is the old tried and true vitamin C. Now, uh, vitamin C complete. This has vile flavonoids and quercetin. Basically, it makes it more powerful. It makes your body uh, ingest it better, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, because it has like a fat soluble part about it. And it makes it more bioavailable, as a, a buzzword. It makes it more bioavailable for the body to use it with. Now, um, this is a great vitamin C. Uh, for people who like, who like taking pills, who don't like mixing powders, this vitamin C is fantastic. Um, the vitamin C that I tend to go to, I don't have near me for some reason, but it's sodium ascorbate. We have it in the office. It's made by Nutribiotic. Sodium ascorbate is a, uh, it's kind of a salty tasting of sodium. It's a salty tasting powder, but it's a very, a, a fourth of a teaspoon is one, is 1100 uh, milligrams. Now, I think the um, FDA says you have to have 400 milligrams a day like the most that'll keep you barely alive if you do that so you have to have uh, a lot more than that now uh the sodium ascorbate and actually the brand we use the research has shown even medical doctors like suzanne humphreys very prominent medical doctor has found that high doses of vitamin c um prevents or not only prevent but they help cure whooping cough in kids so whooping cough is cured by vitamin c also, back uh, in um, China right now, they're doing very high dose vitamin C therapy for those who have been impacted by or uh, tested positive or in the hospital or even for uh, the Wuhan virus, uh, this coronavirus. So even the, even the medical doctors over there are treating people with vitamin C uh, through an IV. Uh, we're not, we're not going to give you an IV, but we will give you some vitamin C here. As a matter of fact, those who made your appointments lately, you know we're dosing you up on vitamin C to help keep you alive, keep thriving, uh, to help keep your immune system hearty, hearty as well. Now, um, in times of uh, sickness, like if you're feeling a little down, vitamin C and vitamin D, I always, with my family in ways, and do recommend for some people to super dose those. That means basically taking like 10 times of the normal dose for a few days and then tipping back down so your body gets that rush uh, and that basically influx and boost of those vitamins to help uh, your body kill off uh, some of the invaders. Uh, probiotics, probiotics are great for the gut. And the good bacteria, pros means good, basically. And bios, life, uh, biotics. It's the opposite of antibiotics will, will kill off bacteria. We have 70 trillion different like bacteria cells in our body or bacteria, 70 trillion, which is more than the cells we have in the body. So we have more bacteria in our body than cells. And we have to keep that healthy, keep it alive to keep us alive. Uh, and one way to help supporting that is to have a healthy gut with the probiotics. So you got to supplement with good probiotics. Uh, if you've ever taken an antibiotic, you need probiotics. That's just what it is. You can't really work around it. And like, unless you eat lots of like cabbage, sauerkraut, uh, fermented foods, uh, kimchi, things like that, yogurt. Um, if you have all those, you're good. But not a lot of people do, so just supplement with probiotic is a very, very good way to help that, keep that gut healthy. And the healthy gut is absolutely essential because remember, 70% of the immune system comes from a healthy gut. So it's help probiotic will help keep you have a healthy gut. Garlic and parsley, we talked about garlic, how powerful that is. It's going to help keep you sicker uh, for a short amount of time if you do get sick, but it also does help uh, keep you um, from getting sick. 63% better immune system with a when you have uh, garlic in there. So this garlic and parsley will help keep you uh, nice and uh, strong there. And Daily Defense, Daily Defense has a lot of cool stuff in it. One of them is called turmeric. Turmeric is a spice, um, but there's over 5,000 research articles or research studies done on turmeric or curcumin itself. Daily Defense happens to have curcumin in it, um, and that's going to help keep inflammation down. It's also going to help all kinds of other things happen with the immune system. Uh, so much so that it's very good for like asthmatics. Uh, anybody suffering from allergies, like curcumin's been great for. 
uh, or curcumin, turmeric, both of those, I use them interchangeably. Uh, but the Daily Defense has a high dose of that in there for you too. And we talked about sunshine a little bit, uh, oxygen exercise. We have a body that's designed to move. Let's move. That's it. Like if we stop moving, we start dying, folks. If we stop doing the things that we gotta do to help this keep us alive, we're gonna die. I don't care what virus it is. If it's a, a herpes virus or a, uh, that's a bad example, but if if it's any kind of virus or bacteria and it makes us sick, it's because we're immune compromised. And if you notice, the immune compromised are the ones that are high risk for this coronavirus thing. Uh, so oxygen exercise actually helps keep your body uh, uh, much stronger. And I won't go through all the specifics, but those who exercise uh, on a regular basis and they have good, uh, like short burst exercise activities, get the muscles moving, it's going to change the hormones in the body. It's going to change the way your brain works. It's going to change, uh, of course, muscle strength, bone strength. There's so many positive aspects to exercise. And believe it or not, it's also going to give you a better gut. Because the neurotransmitters will work, uh, that, uh, go to go work uh, well, and also you have uh, my brain right now. Anyway, I need some exercise to keep my brain moving, basically, uh, which is also a good thing if you want to get your pep up, get a quick burst of exercise, do some jumping jacks, do some burpees, do some push-ups. It'll help get your body moving, and uh, you'll have better mental clarity, which I'm kind of lacking right now. So, yeah. Um, exercise, I'm trying to go through this fast. Now, my favorite topic of all these five essentials, and we all know it's the best. Let's be honest here, folks. It is by far head and shoulders above in my world. Uh, chiropractic patients under care for five years um, have been found to have a 200% greater immune competence than those who have not been receiving chiropractic care. So they, they did this study amongst people who have been under care for five years. And 200 greater, uh, 200 percent greater immunity uh, than those who did not receive chiropractic care. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I have an adjustment to cure the coronavirus. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying vitamin C is going to cure the coronavirus. I'm not saying that at all. You know what? The best medical research in the world don't know what's going to kill coronavirus or cure it. They don't know. That's why it's like a big deal now. Uh, but we know that we have a good, uh, strong immune system. And by that works for us, not against us, we're going to have uh, a, a better chance of fighting off anything, it may be, whether it's a flu or anything else. Uh, so by, chiro by utilizing chiropractic to eliminate stress in the nervous system, that gives the body a lot better chance of fighting off any potential invader. Um, and that research right there points right to it. If you've been in care for a, a long duration of time, you're going to have a better, healthier life. You're going to have a higher immune system. And... Um, once again, I'll be straight up. I used to have terrible allergies, terrible asthma uh, all through my childhood up in college. And it wasn't until I started uh, living these five essentials, the, the max living way, and getting adjusted that, that my allergies disappeared and my uh, asthma like, was gone. So it's pretty crazy stuff. I did not get adjusted just to like have my back pain go away. Initially, I did, yes. Uh, but when I realized my body just worked more effectively, more efficiently, um, it was a no-brainer. You just got to get adjusted. Um, the biophysiology, scientific study of the brain, neurotransmitters, uh, this is biopsychology, I guess. Yeah. Um, this talks about some of the stressors. Now, if you have stress on the nervous system, what we call subluxation, these are some of the symptoms you're going to get. Uh, all these symptoms are clinical signs that there's, a, that there's pressure on the nervous system. So... If you, we get read through these one by one, through my headaches, neck, my ear infections, common colds, frequent colds, fatigue, uh, sleep problems, eczema, allergies, asthma, sciatica. Now, we're going to see here frequent colds, so immune system, hello, high blood pressure, uh, depression, mental problems, fatigue, dizziness, acid reflux, attention focus, food intolerances. There's not one special area of the body chiropractor works best in. It's not the back. It's not the neck. It's the whole body because all of these things affect the whole body. And when we take pressure, or pressure off the nervous system, we have so much better chance of just uh, living you know, the way God made us. Because let's get down to it, folks. God gave us an immune system. Let's use that. 
if we're in a constant state of stress, uh, worry, uh, uh, fear, we're going to have less immune system. If, if we lose sleep like this, please, I know you're on social media right now watching me, uh, but if you're on social media, limit your time on there because living in that world was to you in a sick, sick, depressed place. And really, with all this people, everybody being locked in, we're seeing depression rates skyrocket. A lot of these deaths from COVID-19, do not tell you this, a lot of these deaths from COVID-19 are from depression rates. People committing suicide from this because they're stuck inside their house. That is not cool. Um, so some things that help get our brain kind of in a better place. Instead of focusing on the, on, on the lack and the uncertainty and the fear and all this bad stuff being told to us by CNN, uh, Fox News, ABC, ABC, uh, uh, social media, the CDC, WHO, the people in Italy, the people in China, the people in Spain, oh my God, all around the world. Quiet. Calm down. Focus on the good stuff. Some good things this is bringing, up, this is bringing about right now uh, in our lives. <clears throat> I'm seeing kids play in the streets for the first time. Like neighbors are meeting for the first time. People are getting off social media. And it's pretty funny because once social media started to kick in, we started to get more connected over the internet, like we're connected right now, virtually. But we started getting more disconnected personally. we got to turn these things off and get more connected personally. That's why I don't think the social uh, limitations and the, uh, I forget the stupid word they use for it, uh, social distancing. We are packed animals as human beings. We need social life. We need social. We need to have a uh, a village around us. If we don't have that, we're going to get sick. We're going to get sick. So am I saying go go lick people? No, of course not. Uh, only if, if you love them. But don't isolate yourself. That's what I'm getting at. Isolation is and being, um, I forget the word I'm looking for. Isolation is a, is a big way to help increase depression and have, actually has a higher death rate than uh, heart disease and, and uh, cancer is associated with being isolated. And if you ask like prisoners who have like done a hard time, it wasn't like the amount of time they're in there or like all the like they didn't have a bad time in jail because of like the, the facilities and all the thugs around them or all the, all the bad people. It was the isolation. When we isolate ourselves from the world, we don't thrive. We get sick. We don't, we don't end up in a good place. We die early. Anyway, um, so connect, connect with people. That's one, one good thing is people are connecting. Neighbors are connecting. Another good thing is, uh, let's look at the positive. People are going to the hospital only if they're sick. The hospitals are empty. If, and I don't know if you've seen this at all, but a lot of people I've, I've talked to who work in hospitals, the doctors and nurses, they're not even, they're, they're like, oh, my hours are cut. We're so dead, which is also a cool thing. Hospitals should not be if you get a boo-boo in your thumb or if, if you got a little sniffle. Hospitals should be if it's life and death. Now, if you're, if you're having life and death moments, we are an amazing country to go to the hospital because we have great ones here. We have great people who work in those and life-saving procedures that help save your life inside the hospital itself. But as far as uh, keeping us healthy and thriving, the hospital is the last place you want to go to, so stay away from there. And that's happening a lot more. People only going there if they really have to because they're relying on the body, the, the, the God-given immune system you have given already. We're relying on that. And from that place, we're going to build more confidence in our, in our body's ability to fight off things uh, and, and God's uh, creation of us and more faith in that. Um, another good thing is, and really, if there's any kind of stress like, or we're in a fearful state, a good way to snap out of it is – being grateful. I am grateful for the coronavirus because right now I'm doing my first webinar um, and it's, it's I'm, I'm growing, expanding, doing new things. So this coronavirus has made me get better at doing this. I'm, real, I'm growing into this. We can all do this uh, and be grateful for the little things. Like one of my favorite things I, I like to tell people if we're like anxious or fearful about something, be thankful for your shoelaces. They do a great job of keeping the shoes on your feet so you don't have to have your shoes flying off and stuff. Be grateful for um, this little cap on the water bottle here. It, it screws on, it screws off, it helps keep things nice and tight. 
I can dump this upside down and water doesn't spill all over my computer. All because this little lid has done such an amazing job. I'm so grateful for this little lid right here. We can find so many things to be grateful for. And it's, I say that because it's impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Does not, they cannot coexist through one or the other. So if we're, we're fearful and have gratitude towards things and we're thankful for things, we're going to have a lot less fear, a lot less stress, have a lot better immune system. You see these dots connecting here, folks? It's brilliant how it works. Um, I'm going to see if I can swing over here. If my Facebook will come back up so I can answer any questions that you might have. If you guys have any questions, type them in the, in the box. Uh, I know this is going live right now and everything. Facebook's going to perform players right now. Yes, don't let me see any. I got a thumbs up. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, I see your thumbs up there. Awesome. Um, Are we having problems seeing the webinar? This is also going to be recorded, by the way. It's being recorded right now, so it's going to stay on here so you can watch it later. All right. Going to 42 minutes now, way too long. And in case this had a, a, a blip and it did not transfer over to the page, we can go ahead and make that happen for you guys. Um, I'm not seeing any questions or anything. If you do have a question, please write it below in the chat box. Uh, I'd love to answer it for you or get you the resources you need. If you wanted to um, check out that Max Living, the, uh, the immune boosting bundle with the garlic, the probiotics, uh, the D3, the, um, the defense will post that link for you so you can get to that right away. And get, once you start taking that, you'll you'll feel just the enhanced immunity. You'll feel better. You'll sleep better. And uh, have a better chance of fighting off this uh, Corona COVID virus. COVID, not COVID. Anyway, um, love you guys. God bless. Take care.